it's 8 30 p.m i just came inside and boo is by the back door and i saw his posture and i was like okay he sees something what is boo looking at stella splash simba hydrox ditto and boo the lucky ferals This is what he's looking at. It's the tabby cat with the white paws. It's looking kind of thin. It's 3.15 p.m. and look at what's going on here. Look at this. Boo and Splash are laying next to each other on the bed. I've never seen these two lay this close together before ever like this is a brand new thing so boo has spent a whole lot of time with me uh, since i got back from my overnight trip so what boo does is he misses me so much when i'm away and then when i come back like he's so happy the minute i sit down on the sofa in the living room he comes running from wherever he is and he jumps on top of me like and then he has to lay on me and he just wants to just lay there or sit there and cuddle with me until you know until he's tired of it but usually uh, he just wants to hang out with me for quite some time so that's Boo's thing and then last night he had to sleep on the bed he was like so comfortable he didn't even want to get up this morning he's just so happy when I'm home and here's Stella and what Stella did this morning was she somehow knows when I'm awake even if I'm not out of bed like if I'm just consciously awake and not asleep she knows that I'm awake and she'll jump on the bed and she wants pets and this morning she got like 20 to 30 minutes worth of pets like she just wants me to pet her and pet her and pet her and pet her and then later when i got out of the shower i sat down on the bed to check some emails and she right away jumped up on the bed and laid down on my legs and she was so happy she was like rolling around on my legs so i didn't want to move right away so like thinking okay i'll just let her enjoy herself well, she ended up falling asleep on my legs. Like, she was so happy. So I ended up just sitting on the bed for another half hour. I was like, okay, just going to let her be happy for a while. And so that's what happened this morning. My entire day is kind of backwards or just really behind schedule. But the cats are happy. Don't they look comfortable? Look how comfortable Boo looks. It's really hot today and it is 4th of July weekend so I have all the windows closed and I have the air conditioning on. And we're probably gonna keep it that way throughout the weekend especially if there's a lot of fireworks being blown off and firecrackers. Last night there was a lot of activity outside so I had to make sure that all the windows were shut and I put the TV on and just made a lot of noise inside the house to try to distract the cats from what's going on outside because it gets them really nervous when they hear like loud bangs and booms and firecrackers and fireworks and that kind of stuff. And there's Splash, he looks very comfortable too. And what I'm thinking is maybe I'll give them each a few drops of CBD oil because that's been known to relax cats. Not now, of course, maybe, um, maybe a little bit with their dinner or maybe a little bit with the snack after dinner anyway they're enjoying themselves taking an afternoon nap and i'm gonna go try to get more stuff done here's simba simba's in the cat tower over here i'm trying to get a compilation put together because i haven't posted one in quite some time um but it takes time to do that so i've been sitting at the table here working on some videos and Simba was keeping me company for a while then he decided he needed to take a nap also it's 4 p.m now look at what's going on here Pooh's resting his head on Splash's butt well he was still is still relaxing over here 
and Boo's gonna continue with his nap. If I walk any closer to the bed, then Boo's gonna wanna get pets and Splash is gonna wanna run and hide under the bed probably, so I'm just gonna leave them here. I'm shocked. Maybe Splash will become a papa's boy. You know, Splash is a mama's boy. He he loves like snuggling up to Stella. Maybe he'll start doing that to Boo. Can you imagine? Can you imagine Boo and Splash getting all cozy together? That would be crazy. That would be something totally new for the cats. Boo is so happy. And Splash looks happy too. And Stella's happy. Three happy, relaxed cats. And here's Simba. Simba's happy. It's now 4.25 p.m. I was just brushing Splash because he really needs to be brushed. He doesn't like being brushed every day like the other cats do. So I was petting him and he was shedding quite a bit and he's coughing like he has a hairball. So I got the brush and he was letting me brush him. The minute Simba heard the brush, Simba came to join the other cats on the bed. As you can see, Simba wants to be brushed. But I will continue brushing Splash. And then what's going to happen is he'll usually have enough and he'll jump off the bed and go underneath it because that's just what he does. And then Simba's going to want to be brushed. Boo's waiting also. All right, this is a first. Good job, Splashy. Good job, you look handsome. You look so handsome, Splash. Mm-hmm. When I brush Splash, I make sure that I'm doing it very gentle. Good job, Splash. Good job. You did good. Okay, you want it now? Let me take that out. Okay, you ready, Boo? Boo's gonna leave the bed. He'll run into the living room. Well, usually that's what he does. When I start, if, if I start to brush Boo here, he'll usually get so excited, he'll run into the living room because that's where his arches are. And he likes to rub up against his arches while he gets brushed. Maybe today he'll be more relaxed. Meanwhile, over here, how you doing, Boo? I have to be careful when he moves his head like that. See? Yeah, see? Okay, Simba, you're next. You're next. And sometimes when I brush Simba's belly, if he's not in the mood or if I'm brushing it for too long, then he'll attack the brush. Okay, you're telling me to put it on your head? Okay. Good. Let's move this way, Simba. We'll move over here. Move this over. Okay. Good.
Stella has gotten up. She said she's next in line. Do you think Simba likes being brushed? Okay. He wants me to brush his head. Brush your head. Okay. Mmm, fluffy belly. Simba has the fluffiest belly. The fluffiest belly. Okay. Okay. Good job. Good job. Okay. You look handsome, Simba. Okay, now let's do Stella. Let's do Stella. Okay, Stella, you ready? Stella's on the very edge of the bed. Don't fall off, Stella. Don't fall off, Stella. You look very pretty, Stella. You look very pretty, Stella. Pretty, pretty girl. Look at Simba. Okay, Stella. You want to flip and do the other side? I'll flip her over to the other side. Nope, she's just happy where she is. It's 9 a.m. And the past few days I've been um, cleaning the house and rearranging some furniture and stuff. And I've been rearranging this room a little bit. I took a piece of furniture out of it and I've been moving around some stuff that's in it and just um, just changing the usability of it um, because I wasn't really able to use the desk where I had it with this litter box under it. So this houses a litter box. So what I did was I put this back where it used to be. It used to be here in the corner. And on top of it, I used to have um, like all the live streaming stuff because it was hooked up to the cameras outside. Um, but I don't have that anymore. And what I realized is that these grass mats that I had uh, in the living room on the play rug, they fit perfectly on top of this piece of litter box furniture. And um, Stella was hanging out on here and Simba was on there yesterday. Um, so the cats like it. They like lounging on there. And I was going to show you Stella. That's why I turned the camera on. But um, she decided she wanted to go somewhere else. Meanwhile, here's Simba. The cats really like having this grass on top of these shelves near the window, so I left it. There used to be cat towers here, and I was thinking of bringing them back. Um, but as you can see, the cats really like to lay here. Um, and Simba has his head uh, next to the screen so he could smell the air. Um, last night it cooled down a bit, so I shut off the AC and I opened some windows a little bit. But what happened was around 4.30 in the morning, I was woken up by the sound of chattering raccoons. And I was like, where is that coming from? And then I remembered that yesterday I was eating some fruit. I was eating some plums. And one of the plums that I cut into, it was like overripe and it was just 
not going to be enjoyable to eat. So I said, you know, I'm going to cut this in pieces. I'm going to put it out for the birds or the squirrels or whoever wants it. And then later in the day, I was eating some peanuts, you know, the kind in a shell. So I said, let me put a handful of these out for the birds also. And well, it ends up the birds and the squirrels didn't eat any of it, but the raccoons came and they ate it and they were so happy. That's why they were chattering so much. So what happened was I had to come uh, and look to see what was going on. And that's when I uh, I noticed what the raccoons were doing. At the time, Boo was here at 4.30 in the morning. Boo was looking out this window and uh, I didn't want it open too much. So I only opened it a few inches for him so he could smell what was going on. But the cats like to smell the air. And I moved this cat tower over here. The, this cat tower was in the corner and I moved it here. And I think the cats actually really like it here because um, it's right in front of the window. They've been on it quite a few times already. Oh, and here's Boo. He wants to smell what's going on also. How do you smell, Boo? Good morning, Boo. Who said he was up all night doing his job. He says, I didn't wake up from the sound of the chattering raccoons. He woke me up because that's his job is to send me telepathic images and thoughts when he sees something weird going on in the yard. So he said he woke me up telepathically because he was doing his job. Good job, Boo. It's 2.15 p.m. Boo's been laying by the window. And from the window, you can see the statue of Hydrox and Ditto in the cat shelter in the doghouse down there. I don't know if the camera's focusing because this camera doesn't focus very well um, through screens. But I think Boo likes to uh, you know, just keep an eye on that. So what's been happening is because it's new, um, the statue has only been there a couple days right now. Every time I go outside or look out this window, I kind of, um, you know, I'm a little bit surprised because I think there are cats in there. Like, it's it's weird how just by putting a little statue in there, every time I see it, like, it makes me jump a little bit. It's like, oh, there's a cat in there. But uh, it's just the statue of Hydrox and Ditto. Maybe they're there in spirit. Maybe they're hanging out in there in spirit. So this morning when I went outside, I noticed the statue had moved a little bit. I think it's probably because of the raccoons. I'll have to check the security camera footage to see if uh, anything was caught on the security camera. There's Boo. Boo says hello, everybody. And I'm very happy to report that the cats are using this cat tower here to jump up here. I've seen them multiple times go from here to here and then back down like Boo just did. So I'm really happy about that. They seem to be doing it more with the tower here than with the tower over there. So... So right now the cats seem to really like this setup. And I moved the day sofa over here. I actually have both sides of it down. So that side is down, that side is down. There's a pillow there. And then over here, I have the tray table that I used to use with Ditto. I used to sit on the day sofa and then work on my laptop. And this goes uh, higher and I had it higher so Ditto would lay in my lap and I could work on my laptop so I could multitask there. Then that's just another tray table. I just put it there for now just because I was rearranging the room and um, I thought, okay, well, just for now, out of the way, I'll just put it there. Um, and then I have more pillows that I want to put on the day sofa because it's, it's longer now that both sides are down. Um, I have so many pillows in the closet, but I just haven't taken them out. One of my projects is to um, organize the closet. It's just full of stuff, but Boo's been enjoying the day sofa here. The cats like it and... I have uh, spent some time relaxing on it, right, Boo? Boo says he's very happy. And there's one of the uh, stuffed plushy cats that I used to have in here when Ditto was here. So this kind of works like one of those, um, you know the pillows that go around your neck, like a travel pillow that goes around your neck? So sometimes when I would be sitting on the day sofa and Ditto would be on my lap, like if he fell asleep on my lap and I didn't want to get up and disturb him, I'd use that as like one of those neck pillows so I could kind of take a nap sleeping up myself. Because a lot of the times it would be like one o'clock in the morning when that would happen. So uh, I've kept it in the room. It stayed nice and clean. And um, so Boo seems to like it. Here's Boo. He wants to let you know that he's very happy. 
And so right here where Boo is now, he's actually getting a breeze from the air conditioner because the air conditioning vent is right here. And even where I'm standing, I'm getting a nice cool breeze. So Boo's enjoying that. And then here is Stella's Kitty City Royal little castle. And I moved it here and Simba was actually using this uh, the other day. So uh, I don't know if it's gonna stay here for now. It's here again. I'm just trying to rearrange things to make uh, my space in this house more usable than it has been. Another thing Boo has been doing is uh, hanging out up here and watching for cats that walk across the patio. And he's doing his job. And then I moved the little desk over to this wall. I kept the plants on it and I just wanted it to be more usable for me. Now there's no uh, litter box underneath it so I could actually use it. This is like a storage ottoman, but it doubles as a uh, chair for the desk. It works great. Um, I have all my solar power banks in the corner um, and they're currently being charged. If you hear a noise in the background, they're being charged by the solar panels right now. And I thought it'd be good to have the desk next to the solar panels so I could utilize some of the free electricity. So my iPad is charging right now and I can use my laptops off of the solar generators if need be. And then I have a whole bunch of old albums here um, that I am also starting to digitize. Um, I have so many albums. I have such a large vinyl collection. I have probably thousands downstairs um i have like massive shelves in the back room um so i moved this little um vintage there are doors that go on this i took the doors off for easy access to the vinyl it's like a little vintage uh piece of furniture to store vinyl then you'd put like your stereo on top of it so this is a modern insignia bluetooth stereo on top of that, I have a VCR because I'm also digitizing some old VHS tapes. And then on top of that, I have a portable vinyl turntable um, and I have that hooked up to my laptop and I've just been uh, digitizing some of the vinyl albums that I have so I can get rid of some and just free up more room in this house. I think it looks pretty comfy and cozy with the plants and everything. And it's really nice to sit here and get some work done. And I'm hoping it stays that way. It's 3 p.m. We were supposed to get rain today and we haven't gotten any. Instead, it's beautiful and sunny. I thought I would show you the memorial statue that I got for Hydrox and Ditto. It's here in this doghouse shelter. I posted a short video about it the other day and I just realized I didn't film anything for the vlog. So this is what it looks like. And when I saw it in a store, I thought it was really cute and it reminded me of Hydrox and Ditto because Ditto always used to uh, rub up against Hydrox and they used to kiss each other, so um, I thought it was appropriate for them. This used to be the shelter that housed the automatic feeder, and then the shelter that was here in this location, um, Grandma and Grandpa have that now, and uh, Marty has been using that uh, feral cat shelter. Um, so I thought, let me just put it here inside this shelter because we're supposed to get some storms, which we did not get, and they keep it safe but everyone seems to like it here and I uh, actually kind of like it here so for now uh, that's where it's staying <laughs>
9 p.m. and my idiot neighbors about two or three houses down are blowing off like the biggest fireworks. All of the cats are just completely freaked out right now. It was so nice. They were so calm. And now because it was so loud, they're all like incredibly nervous. It's about 9, 10 p.m. right now. I have three cats hiding under the bed because of the fireworks that are being blown off by my neighbors. Looks like it's two houses down. Boo's the only one not hiding under the bed. He's in his office doing his job, looking out the window over there. It actually looks like there might be two different houses blowing fireworks off right now. One looks like it might be around the corner. So these aren't too bad, they're not that loud, but the other neighbor had the really loud ones. This is, these are horrible. That's what really scared the cats before, it was something like that, that's just like, pretty much, almost right above the house. Thank you for watching this Lucky Earl's video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos, and please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.